Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the June 11th new arrival video. A few things I want to talk about beforehand. You know, this Saturday is Record Store Day. Starting at 1 o'clock Eastern, all of the Record Store Day stuff that's still in the store, which is going to be about 80% of it, I'm sure, because of the quantity of stuff I bought, is going to go online on the website at 1 o'clock Eastern time. There's a spot underneath, kind of in the middle of the front webpage that is going to populate all those record store day titles. So if you go to the website now and look, you'll see a little section for record store day. I mean, to the second, one o'clock Eastern time, all of those items will appear there all at once. I'll give you guys a couple of tips for purchasing stuff on the website for record store day. The first tip I'll give you guys is build an online account. You know, if you go into this, to the website, you can put essentially your shipping and all that information in ahead of time. This way, when you go to check out, you can get checked out quickly. The goal, if you guys are interested, is get stuff checked out as quick as possible. When stuff is in your shopping cart, that does not mean it is yours. It is not assigned to you until it is paid for, paid for and the order is complete. Last year, a lot of guys kind of, you know, were upset about that, but you know, there's very few web platforms that allow stuff to be held within a cart. You know, you gotta be like Ticketmaster or somebody. That's not gonna be the case. So you wanna get checked out as quickly as possible. I would also advise against using PayPal. It kind of, it's a third party payment provider. It kind of slow things down. You know, get your credit card information saved into your autofill. This way you can get it in quickly. Address everything you can check out instantaneously. That's the way to do it because keep in mind if last record store day is any indication of how it's going to go you got about two minutes and almost everything is going to be sold out it should go extremely quick i'm assuming like it did last year but i don't know it's guesswork at this point but yeah one o'clock eastern time you could check out i did a video of most of the list there's about 15 things i left off of there i just hadn't received them yet a few things i forgot to put in the video but I've done plenty of unboxings. I kind of give you guys a rough idea of what's coming out. You can always check out the Record Store Day website to see the full list. And I want to say I got a decent amount of everything. Now, if you're local, we open at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're going to be opened up 8 in the morning, ready to go. Keep in mind, too, I talked about it on my last live stream. I am going to actually live stream the event. There's going to be a camera with a microphone set up in the corner of the store. So from when I open the door at 8 o'clock in the morning for, depending on how the view goes, you know, if a bunch of people are watching, I'm going to leave the camera on for three, four hours of the whole day. You know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to be cool. There's going to be a microphone set up. People will be able to wander over there, maybe show you guys what they got. You'll kind of see. It's going to be of the main record the main aisle, which will have all of the bins. You know, I've got three of these bins that'll have record store day stuff in it. And then I've got obviously tons of stuff behind the counter. But, you know, you'll be able to see the, the main row. You'll be able to see people checking out. It'll be, it'll be pretty cool. So you could check in for, you know, if you're in an area that uh, you're not going to be going to record stores. You know, you're in an area that doesn't have record stores. You can watch our record store day. I think it'll be pretty cool. A lot of cool pre-orders were announced this week as well. So the next Blue Note Classic Series title, which is All Analog Cut by Kevin Gray. You guys know I'm a fan of these titles. They're unbelievable value for the money for an audiophile release. It is going to be Dexter's, Dexter Gordon's Go. That is coming on July 23rd. It's the only title they announced. Normally they do them in pairs. I'm guessing something got pushed back. But we've got Dexter Gordon's Go. So a couple days ago, they announced the complete Lighthouse Sessions on Blue Note, Lee Morgan's Lighthouse Sessions. I've never heard the complete Lighthouse Sessions. I don't know if anybody has. Very few people anyways. But the album itself is a fantastic album. I was unsure of what to make of this because I'm not a big fan of big digital box sets. They're a drag. I mean, box sets, I don't like box sets, period. They're big and they're cumbersome. I do like this box set because A, it's the complete all the stuff he did at the lighthouse, 12 LPs worth, but it's all analog cut by Kevin Gray. So I'll get on board with an all analog properly done box set. This is going to be fantastic. They also do it on an eight CD set. 
I have both of them on the website now available for pre-order. But yeah, 12 LP, cut by Kevin Gray, all analog, going to be an awesome box set. You can get it as CD as well, but you know, I don't, maybe some of you guys are CD guys. Not me, but you know, I've got vinyl. Sell turntables too, just saying. Okay, Beach Boys, they're doing a sunflower and surf up session. So essentially this is kind of a time capsule of them working on that two album. It's a four LP set, but it's 44 unreleased Beach Boys track comes out July 30th that's you know that's a pretty cool thing I, I really dig Sunflower I think that's a great album their you know their later 60s stuff and early 70s I think is still to this day pretty underrated but uh, yeah 44 unreleased tracks July 30th this is going to be a monstrously popular title so they are repressing the almost famous soundtrack they're doing it in the deluxe box set and they're doing a 2 LP set the deluxe box is like 47 songs from the film so i'm guessing the 2lp is going to be like a selection of what was released in the film but that deluxe box set and it comes with a bunch of tchotchkes literature that kind of thing but the deluxe edition is essentially i'm assuming almost if not everything that was in the film originally also guys i got another restock on shirts i've got five colors i'm out of double x and triple x but i've got more on the way but if you go on the website now, I put store merch on the top of the website. So you can easily find in groove t-shirts. Got some audio file restocks. And, you know, this is going to be a light week because it's the week before record store day. There's not typically a ton of stuff released because the labels all, you know, kind of push things before or after record store day. But I'll show you what I've got. There are some cool things. And there's some cool audio file restocks from Analog Productions, ORG, uh, and a couple of things off of my in print analog records list so yeah first thing the black sabbath sabotage super deluxe box this is the third one of these boxes i think they're killer value for the money a little bit over 100 bucks but it's a original album remastered and you're getting essentially three disc a three disc lp a live lp from the sabotage tour and then the uh, seven inch single a japanese replica single there's a book you know, the books have been pretty, pretty big and impressive. But again, I'm not a big box set fan, but that is pretty cool. I do have the other two. I'm going to be uh, enjoying that one. Finally, in stock, you know, I got Mob Rules last week. I got significantly fewer of Heaven and Hell. I should have more on the way. If You know, you go online and it's not there. You guys can always do the restock notification. You know, if you get to a page and something's sold out, Put your email address or your telephone number in, and the minute it goes into my system, you'll get notified. But finally in stock, heaven and hell. So they're doing, apparently, two versions of this. This is Garbage's new record. They're doing a record store day version. I think it might be on pink vinyl. The standard edition is on neon green vinyl. So that is new this week. This is pretty cool. Kiss off the soundboard. This is a live concert, Tokyo 2001. This is a three-disc set. New album by Two Chains, so help me God. Looks like they're putting Live Bullet back into print. Bob Seeger. It's amazing that, you know, I never thought titles like this would ever see repress, but you know how hard it is to actually get clean copies of these albums and keep them in stock? It just doesn't happen. Okay, this... I got last week. This guy's is like a no-brainer. If you are even a marginal Neil Young fan, get this album. If you're not a Neil Young fan, get this album. You probably will be. Neil Young's greatest hits. This is a two-disc set, but what's great about this is all but two tracks on this are all analog. This is an all-analog, mostly, disc. The last two tracks were recorded digitally in 89 and 91. So, you know, Rock in the Free World and Harvest Moon, they were put on there. Obviously, they had to be digital. But the rest of this is actually cut from analog tape. Analog greatest hits albums are extremely difficult to find. And this was something that was going for a couple hundred bucks when it was out of print slash in between pressings a couple of months ago. You know, real nice, heavy-duty cardboard cover. Really well done. You know, Neil and I talked to you guys about it quite a few times. He really does a killer job on his records. And when he can do analog, he does. 
Okay, what is this? The Lion King, the Lion King, the songs. Looks like we got Beyonce and Elton on here doing, uh, I'm guessing this is kind of a combination of some different stuff. Maybe going back from the original movie, maybe even the new one. I don't know. Oh, the greatest Disney movie of all time. This is a no-brainer. Aladdin. I might even have to get this. You know, I got kids, of course, so, you know, I'll have to listen to it while they're there. But, uh, yeah. Aladdin, the songs, and I'm really hoping this is the songs from the original Aladdin because I was drugged to see the new Aladdin, and I was not a fan Uh you know, if you're my age, like, this is probably your favorite Disney movie, too. And remaking that was a mistake. Just my opinion. New Van Halen. The debut of Wolfgang Van Halen's first album. It is called Mammoth WVH. This is the indie-exclusive Black Ice version. New Sleater Kinney, Path of Wellness, Portugal the Man, Oregon City Sessions, new album from Boingo Boingo's Danny Elfman. Now this is not Boingo Boingo, but this is Danny Elfman from Boingo Boingo. This is a colored vinyl version. Name of the album is Big Mess. That is quite a interesting cover. New album from, what is this, Rostam? The new album, Change Phobia. I feel like I might have showed this on colored vinyl. If not, show it again. Pup. This place sucks ass. I don't know what place he's referring to, but uh, this is the U.S. Indie Retail Exclusive. Skids, songs from a haunted ballroom. We have a box set from Mike Cooley with Jason Isbell, live at Shoals Theater in 2014. This looks like it's a four disc box set. Indie exclusive on red vinyl. That's quite interesting. A four disc box set, 50 bucks? That's crazy. Back in stock, an Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. I've had an extremely difficult time keeping this in stock. Fantastic album. Also back in stock from my top in-print analog records you should own. One of the very few classical titles I've ever recommended. Answer May's The Royal Ballet. It's a two-disc set, nice booklet inside. I've talked about it a few times on the channel. It's unbelievably good. Even if you're not a classical fan, it has the Nutcracker, Swan Lake. It has things you, the whole family, will easily enjoy. I mean, it's a fantastic recording. Originals of this are like, you know, five grand in good shape. So it's not like, you know, you're not going to buy this because you'll just find a, a used copy cheaper somewhere. That is the way to go. And it sounds killer. I have an original, and that's unbelievably good sounding. Restock from Analog Productions, Duke Ellington's Masterpieces. This is the 45 RPM version. Holly Cool Trio, Don't Smoke in Bed. This is the 33 RPM version. This is one of my favorite titles of the bunch. Sam Cooke's The Best of Sam Cooke. You do not see too many R&B records that are on audiophile labels when you do get them because they tend to be fantastic. This is another great title, Elvis Stereo 57. Doesn't have, you know, it's a great record, kind of, you know, session work, but sounds unbelievably good. Interesting to kind of get a, a look into the studio with Elvis. Coleman Hawkins, double disc 45 RPM. This has been a while since I've had this. This is the uh, Ted Nugent self-titled 33 RPM. Still sounds fantastic. I didn't have a copy of this in my collection, so I actually cracked this open to it you know, today and listened to it. It's good. 
Ella Fitzgerald, like someone in love, 45 RPM. From my top 10 imprint analog blues and R&B records you should own, Slim Harpo's, the original King Bee, unbelievably good blues album. Give it a try. Jeff Beck's Wire, this is the 45 RPM version from Analog Productions. JJ Kale's Troubadour, fantastic record. This has a um, kind of a, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. It's a good record. Analog Productions, 33 RPM. Oh, has the original cocaine on it that uh, Eric Clapton covered. My brain was saying after midnight, but I'm like, no, that's not on that album. And I'm like, look, and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Coltrane Sound from ORG. These are all analog cut, 45 RPM by Bernie Grunman. They're unbelievably good. They went out of print, but they got put back into print recently. I've had it in and out, but I finally got a restock of a few of these titles. I got Coltrane Sound. My favorite things, all of these cut, 45 RPM, Bernie Grunman from the original analog tape. Ornette Coleman's Free Jazz. Another Coltrane title, Coltrane Jazz. And the last title is not an ORG title. It is from Intervention Records. It is an all analog label that only has a few titles in the catalog, but Joe Jackson's Night and Day. Great sounding record. It's got the smash hit stepping out on it. This was done by Kevin Gray. Real nice cover art. You know, they did a good, this is a fantastic label. I wish they did more titles, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys, get ready for Record Store Day. I know I almost am, but yeah, check us out online. Like I said, we'll be streaming the event. Until next time.